All right, so that was fun, right? Everyone enjoys parsing through things by hand as much as I do. And so if you had any questions about how that works, if you weren't able to get some of the answers, then this section is for you. If you got everything, then you don't really need to watch this. So I want you to keep it gritty because Gritty is the patron saint of nitty gritty analysis. Gritty is a sports mascot for a hockey team who will haunt your dreams. So anyways, the particular thing that I used for this analysis was UEFI tool, specifically its hex view image. And I'm going to use this here because I want you to understand that UEFI tool is basically just parsing the flash descriptor in order to get some information that it displays over here. And so we're going to see that as we go along. So if you click on the Intel image portion in UEFI tool, you will see this information. And if you instead click on the descriptor region portion, you will see all of this information. So where does it get it from? Let's find out. So offset hex 10, I said you should treat FD bar in the ICH data sheet as if it is hex 10 because it's not really an ICH 10, it's a PCH 7 series. So FD bar plus zero, so 10 plus zero, here's the magic signature. It should be exactly that. That is what we expect. And there we go, that's it at the base of this thing. I'll be popping this in just to remind you where we are as we get lost in the hex. Then after that, the next thing is the flash map. So flash map zero, FD bar plus four has these descriptions. So how do we parse that? Well, the zeroth byte is this flash component base address. And this is actually telling us where we can find the component section. So specifically, it says this identifies bits 11 through four and that the bits three through zero are zero. So the value is three, but that's treated like bits 11 through four and the least significant four bits are zero. So essentially it's just shifted left by four bits, which means it's saying 30. 30 is the base address of the next section of the flash descriptor, the component section. All right, basically, so if you had flash map zero field in the descriptor map, it is pointing to the component section. So remember the flash descriptor map points to each of these sections and the region section points to all of the stuff outside of this, the different regions. So there we go, found the component section. And then this tells us how many components there are. This tells us the number of flash chips, but counterintuitively you see one and you'd think it would mean one flash chips, but no, one means two. So one means two components, two flash chips. And that's what it's telling you up here. It's telling you there's two flash chips because it read this section and it interpreted it accordingly. Next byte, four, this is the flash region base address. Well, the region is again one of those next chunks of the flash descriptor. And this once again does the I'm bits 11 through four and the least significant bits are zero. So again, shift it left by four and that tells you that 40 is where you will see the region portion of the flash descriptor starting. So like so, that is the pointer to the region section. All right, and then the next byte is three, and this is the number of regions. But this is the zero indexed number of regions, so three actually means four. There are regions zero, one, two, and three. Then you would move on to the next flash map one, which is FD bar plus eight, and it has very similar interpretation. Boom, this tells you where to find the master portion. It's again offset to the it's shift left by four, and so that's 60. That's where the master portion of the flash descriptor is. Boom, pointer like that. What's the next byte? Number of masters. This is a zeros base number, so two means three. Three masters, that would be the CPU master, the management engine spy bus master, and the Intel integrated gigabit ethernet spy bus master. All right, then we've got the flash ICH strap base address. Now this is not an ICH, so this is gonna be the soft straps for the PCH. So boom, that is offset 100. Looks like so, boom, point at the PCH instead of the ICH stuff. Next byte, the ICH strap length, well, PCH strap length, that is 12, but that is a hex zeros based thing, so 16 plus two is 18. So there's gonna be 18 data structures in this offset hex 100. And specifically, each of those data structures is a D word, so four kilobytes each, or sorry, four bytes each. 